everything that you believe about God, everything that you say is so about the Lord, you ought to be able to show that in the Bible to somebody. And if it's not in the Bible, you really don't have anything. You don't have an argument. You have no basis, no foundation for what you're saying. And the idea of show me that in the Bible ought to be a very common idea. It ought to be something that's asked quite frequently about theological issues, theological matters. You believe this? Oh, yeah. Well, show me that in the Bible. Where's a verse? Um, and if you don't, you know, if if you don't have that, then you don't have anything. You just have opinions and you know creeds and ideas of men. You don't really have some sort of biblical authority to state your view. And there's an exchange on Twitter I want to show you from a Catholic guy who mocks the idea of, show me that in the Bible. He mocks it. And uh, I want to show you that here in just a moment. Don't go away. All right, guys, thank you very much. Go ahead and smite thine like button, and the lizard people won't get you. I want to show you this uh, this word in the Bible. It's the word perfect, and um, I want to show it to you in Timothy here. It's a really interesting word. It means like, and it depends on the context, really. It means, you know, growed up and uh, mature and things like that. Um, it says here, 2 Timothy 3, 3 17, and uh, i got to get the go watch third Adam out of the way. Sorry about that. Um, it says right there at the bottom of the chapter that the man of God may be perfect, truly firm, furnished unto all good works. Well, how does a man mature in his faith and get throughly furnished? Uh, well, it is by taking heed to the Scriptures, the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. And then it says right here, All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, throughly furnished unto all good works. And so, you know, where do I get the idea of salvation by grace through faith? I get it from the Bible. Where do I get the idea of, of believer's baptism? I get it from the Bible. Where do I get my, my guidelines about the local church? I get it from the Bible. Where do I get where do I get all this stuff that I believe about Jesus? Well, I get it. Guess what? I get I just I just happen to get it from something called the Bible. And if you're not doing that, then you're um, you're on shaky ground to put it nicely. So let me show you this. I, I made this really amazing tweet because that's what I do. I'm an amazing tweet maker. And um, <laughs> that that sounded self-serving, didn't it? Um but there's this video of people doing shape note singing that I thought was pretty cool. Just check this out. Let's listen to this for a second. This is good. Okay, so they're you know they're doing all that, and I like it. It was good. I thought it was worthy of a post on Twitter. And um, forgive my terrible singing. And I'm I'm having allergies. Pray for me. Um, <laughs> But, okay, so here, look at this comment. Where is this in the Bible? What? Like, are you for real? Like, we're, we're really, you're asking me where is singing in the Bible? Like, are we for real here? Where is, where, where is singing in the Bible? And look, just look where the conversation goes. And uh, this person said, uh, praising God in song, this song, word for word, chapter and verse. Like this, this person really is is being snide and saying, "Where's that in the Bible? Where, where's where's singing in the Bible?" Like, do you see the juvenile? Just like this is ridiculous levels. To, we're singing in the Bible. Blah. Okay, like what? Well, what for real? And then this this good brother that I don't know uh, gives. A number of verses, singing songs to God with gratitude your heart, Colossians 3.16. Uh, fountain open to cleanse sin, drawn from Emmanuel's vein, blood of Jesus. I mean, I, excellent. Yes, thank you. Thanks, Paul. That was good. Thank you very much. I say, man, I'm going to like that right there. Put a little heart on that. Um, and then he says this. It wasn't a serious question. It was just to show how dumb Protestants are when they ask, where is the rosary in the Bible? When A, it doesn't contradict the Bible, and B, it literally quotes from Luke. This is this is um, this is a level of I don't know if you call this being ridiculous, being rebellious, being hard-hearted, um, being um, you know 
being a swine that we're trying to cast pearls to, being a wicked and unreasonable man. I, I don't know where you would put this in the spectrum of stuff, but... I mean, are there things that I do that are not in the Bible? Yeah, like, um, you know, this YouTube channel is not in the Bible. Um, you know, I probably, I have a I have a golf club set over there. I don't think golf's in the Bible. Um, I mean, you know, like, I mean, I've got, I've got a, a television on the wall over there. You guys have seen it on my videos. I don't think that's in the Bible. Um, but, but when it comes to, like, matters of faith and practice... There ought to be some biblical justification for what you do that you says that you claim this is a this is a part of the Christian experience is doing this particular thing. You ought to have some Bible for that. Like you go every year in the Philippines, there's these dudes that um, it's like they take these knives and it's really bizarre, but you ought to look it up. They take like they take these knives and then they'll um, and yes, I I am, I am that type of a guy that here, anywhere I go, I'm near one of these. So don't test me. Um, but they take these knives and they put them on chains and they like they they swing the chains around and the chains hit their back over and over and over and over and over again and uh, they'll they'll just swing these things back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and and like they have no shirt on and they're wearing like a a, a bag over their head they just sit there and swing these back and they they're calling that like penance for their sin and as a catholic practice and it's really it's disgusting i won't even show it to you but like these guys sit there with blood just dripping down their back um i need to put that up before i get hurt but, like, the only people in the Bible that did that were the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel, crying and cutting themselves, taking knives and saying, Oh, Baal, oh, Baal, please come down, Baal. Ah, just, you know, like, just doing acts of self-harm to try to awaken their, their God, Baal. Weird stuff, bro. And yes, I'm an advocate of knife safety. Please make sure it's in the case before you do anything ridiculous like that. Please. I, I don't. I just, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm having a meltdown right now. I apologize. This is a bad idea, but it proves my point. Um, like if you believe something like that, like like you know, hitting your back with knives and blades, you know, for lint or whatever, you ought to have some Bible for that. Like, where is that in the scriptures? Um. You know, there's things out there like infant baptism and stuff. I don't even, I don't know where you get that. You get that from like Acts 16 that he was baptized in his house, talking about the Philippian jailer. I mean, like that, I understand what you're saying, but that's not what that, it's not there. It's not there. Um, and, and there's there's so much other, there's a lot going on. I mean, there there are some Baptist uh, groups that they practice foot washing. They believe that there's actually three ordinances of the church. There's the Lord's Supper, there's baptism, and there's foot washing. Um, if I've never been a part of a foot washing service, but if I was, I would ask the men to wash their feet before they came. That's that's for sure. But when 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 somebody demands chapter and verse, or they demand a biblical principle behind the practices that you've engaged yourself in, and you just sneer at that, and it makes you mad and uncomfortable and to where you just are snarking out to people online, um, that's weird, bro. I think, I think you've, you've, you've opened yourself up to just whatever. I mean, like, if you place church tradition or the church fathers, the writings of the church fathers above the Bible, or even put it in a place where it's equivalent to the Bible, then I, I, I think you're on shaky ground real bad, real bad. And I think that's the challenge that all of us as theologians have trying to make sense of the scriptures. I, I think that's going to be a lifelong challenge is to try to throw our ideas aside and let the Bible be right and us be wrong. I think that's what we need. And uh, Paul said, that's a false equivalence. There's no scripture that calls into question singing such songs, but there's calling into question repetitive prayer. Quoting scripture doesn't mean the practices are supported by the scripture. Satan quoted scripture to tempt Jesus. <clears throat> um, and, and look at this. Bro is really comparing something to honoring the mother of God to Satan. Yes, I, I am doing that. Yes, I am. Spencer Smith's doing that. This whole, this repeating prayers as the heathen do... 
like in Luke chapter 11, I believe, uh, is either Luke 6 or Luke, Luke 11. Somebody check me on that about the great chapter on prayer. I am saying you are repeating yourself as the heathen do. Our Father which art in heaven, hell. You know, just like, like even, even, the, even the Lord's Prayer was not meant to be quoted over and over and over and over again. <clears throat> Hail Mary, for our grace, pray for us sinners now in our time of need. Hail Mary, for our grace, pray for us sinners now in our time of need. Hail Mary, full of grace. And just going through those beads like that. That is a heathen practice according to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. You're disgusting. The demons in you manifest the thought of Mary <clears throat> that much to even think like that. Yep. I mean, look, look at the screen. Look at what Catholics believe. Look at what Catholics believe. This is what they believe. This is a goddess cult of snide, ridiculous, biblically illiterate, just just sassy pants people that have been misled and deceived. <clears throat> the demons in you manifest at the thought of Mary that mu uh, that much to even think like that. And I don't even know where Paul was even saying anything about. The Mary, um, uh, and here's my question for you, Christian nationalist guys: Is this the guy you want in office? Is this the guy that you want um, handing out wedding licenses? <clears throat> Is this the guy that that you want uh, writing you traffic tickets? I mean, like these are the type of people that threw Baptist preachers in prison because they disagreed. Not good. Not good. So, um, <clears throat> look, I pray for this guy, and he's part of the Christ is King thing. That's why I'm not getting on board with Christ is King deal because of uh, guys like this. I, we are we are way off theologically, and if you want uh, more, he's he seems like he's a uh, I don't know. Seems like he's of course a conservative, but there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on here, but. When you start posting stuff like that, bro, you're you're way out in left field, man. You're way out in left field, and so I hope that uh, this gives you some insight into um, into what people are thinking, especially what Catholic people are thinking. And I hope that when it comes to your theological views, that you would um, you would say, okay, where's this in the Bible? Where's that in the Bible? I mean, you know, I, I, taking up an offering in church, I think it's 1 Corinthians 16, uh, first day of the week, let every one of you lay in store as God hath prosper him. I think you ought to give to the local church. And um, I, I think so. I, I just think so. I think that's everything you do in the local church ought to be supported by Scripture. And, um, and, and you know, just follow what the Bible says. That's, that, that is the model. We can't say that we're practicing Christianity unless we're practicing something that the guidebook of Christianity teaches for us to practice. That's, I think that's a good way to put it. So anyway, subscribe to this channel if you're new, guys. We appreciate you guys. Check out some of our merch in the link in the description below. I know that you guys will love that. And uh, make, a, make a donation in PayPal if you feel led to. We appreciate that. We need all the help we can get. And then also become a channel member if you haven't done so yet. And we appreciate you guys. Have a good day and doctrine matters. And uh, don't be a weirdo. Just don't. And smite the like button. At least the people will get you. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. Big deal. See you later. Well, if you're like me, you will notice that there's something dreadfully wrong with modern worship music. It's worldly, it's exalting men, and there's a lot of weird new age stuff all in it. I mean, just, it's spooky, it's weird. I, I don't want anything to do with it. And years ago, we saw this coming, and we wrote a book, Calling Evil Good, The Live Christian Rock and Roll, available now on Amazon. You can get your link in the description below. They will print it and send it to your house. In this book, we discuss all the things that we saw coming a long time ago. We talk about how Amy Grant was a part of all this. And we even go back into the history of it with Larry Norman, who really was like the first guy who ever paved the way for this apostasy to enter the local church. And the funny thing is, is that the names constantly change, but the principles behind all this stay the same. This book has gone number one on Amazon in the contemporary Christian music section at least seven times already, and people are just buying this book, having their eyes open to these um, really huge problems in this gospel music industry. It's a serious issue. We talk about people who claim to be Christians who are now secular musicians like Beyonce Knowles and other people out there who are as worldly as they can be, but they claim to be Christian, people like Hulk Hogan and Britney Spears. 
<laughs> believe it or not. And so we can show you, we can connect a lot of the dots that have brought us to the point where we are today in this book, Calling Evil Good, The Live Christian Rock and Roll. I promise you, you'll love this book. You need to get a copy of it today. They'll send it right to your house. It'll be easy as it can be. So go ahead and check it out today and may God bless you as you watch the rest of this video. Calling Evil Good, The Live Christian Rock and Roll by Spencer Smith. Get it today. It'll be a great blessing. Hey guys, Spencer here. This is our spread shirt store link in the description below. And we've got a couple new designs in here, more of a Japanese look that says doctrine matters on that. Of course, plenty of good designs to see, but I want you to check this one out. This is our doctrine matters, Japanese design. And as you can see on the front, it's got doctrine matters in Japanese. And on the back has got this really cool print of Mr. Gizmo in a, like a Japanese painting It's pretty awesome. And of course there's some lizard people down here as well. And, uh, you can see Doctrine Matters in there and got a lot of great options for this. If you want it on a men's t-shirt, you can get it all different kinds of colors and designs and things like that. Also, we have it on the teddy bear. You will love that. It goes on the back of the teddy bear too. Different colors and designs there as well. And you ladies, you can check this out. We've got some pink t-shirts. We've got all kinds of colors and uh, hoodies and hats and mugs and you can get you one today. I know that you will love this design. It is a great, cool thing and all of the proceeds go to support our channel. And so check out this cool new design on the Spreadshirt store. And also look at the very top, you get 20% off for the next five days. So make sure you hit that button, redeem that. And link in the description for all these cool designs. Go check them out today and you will enjoy it. Doctrine matters, friends. And we're trying to promote it through our merchandise. God bless you. Have a great day.